Where is silver headed? Are we going to see a breakout in silver in 2023? What's up, YouTube? I'm Silver Dragons. And in this video, we're looking at a price forecast or silver price prediction from investinghaven.com. They see silver going to almost $35 an ounce next year. They show a lot of charts and talk about why they think silver will go that high next year. And then they think silver is going to continue to move move up possibly up to $48 an ounce in 2024. So I wanted to talk about this article, kind of share some of the highlights, but at the end of the video, I will give you Investing Haven's track record, how well they've done on silver price predictions in the past. So lots of good information in this one. Buckle up. Let's do it. All right, thank you so much for watching my video. I do sincerely appreciate it. A silver price forecast for 2023. The price of silver will move to our first bullish target of $34.70 in 2023. We see a test of $48 soon after, not later than 2024. So yes, it's great to have these predictions, but why do they think silver is going to go there? Uh, let's check it out. If we scroll down to their four leading indicators uh, for their silver price prediction. The first one is the price of gold, positively correlated to silver. Basically, they think the price of gold is going to go up next year, and they think silver will go up as well. This is interesting. Silver does not always do the same thing that gold does, but for the majority of the time, it sort of moves in a similar pattern. However, silver is more explosive. It's more volatile than gold because it's a smaller market, right? So they obviously think gold will move up next year. They think silver will kind of follow in gold's footsteps, but I think it's more likely to say that silver will lead the way. I really think next year is going to be the year that we see silver start to break out, and we'll get into that. But their second indicator is the euro, inversely correlated to the dollar. We'll talk about that. Their third one is inflation expectations, positively correlated to silver. We'll bring that up. And the last one is the futures market positioning, COT, or commitments of traders. Uh, so we'll talk about all of that. Let's get to the first chart, uh, and it is right here. Uh, let me just scroll up so you can read along if you like. Um, as seen on the longest time frame, the silver price chart over 50 years, there is a giant cup and handle in the making. This is a strongly bullish pattern, one that might take two or more years to truly explode. So, I mean, they're admitting, you know, it could be 2024, 2025 till we really see the breakout. Uh, but the area in the green is the handle. It took some six years to create this part of the structure. The consolidation is taking some three years now. We find it challenging to estimate the exact time required for this formation to complete. We can reasonably expect silver to move to the top of this formation between $32 and $36 in the second half of 2023. Now, I actually kind of agree with, with what they're saying here. They're basically saying, that, all right, at the start of 2023, silver could go sideways, it could go down, but we're really going to see it explode in the second half of 2023, and that is exactly what I think is going to happen as well. I'm expecting silver to start breaking out, you know, Q3, Q4. I believe that during the first half of the year, we could actually see a decline in the price of silver, which would be great because this would give you a chance to accumulate more silver on the dip right before it explodes. Now, if we move down to their next chart, this is the gold silver ratio over the last 50 years. And uh, again, I'll let you read along if you like. The gold silver ratio says that silver is a screaming buy. Uh, the GSR over 50 years. Take a look at the green line. Any time in history, silver achieved a ratio of 92 to 1 or greater, obviously, uh, when compared to the price of gold. It started an epic turnaround. In some cases, it took a few years. In other cases, a few months for silver to become explosive. So they're showing when silver uh, in the GSR goes over 92, right? So more than 92 ounces of silver to buy one ounce of gold. They've got three times highlighted here. Uh, this one was back in 
the 90s. All right. And then the most recent ones in 2020 and then 2022, we see the uh, GSR over 92. And so they're expecting the GSR to come down, which obviously means for the GSR to come down, silver's price will have to go up and will have to go up much faster than that of gold. So this is kind of what they were saying earlier. Gold is probably going to go up. Silver is probably going to go up faster. They didn't explicitly say that, but it's kind of implied when we look at this chart here. Uh, so let's actually scroll all the way down to their first leading indicator, right? This is why they think silver is going to go up. Uh, and the number one reason, I suppose, is gold. We expect gold to eventually move higher in 2023 because of the divergence between its leading indicator M2, the monetary base. So right here, we're looking at uh, the price of gold is in gold, go figure. And then they have M2 in uh, black. So basically M2, this is the money supply. It's how much currency is created year over year. Basically what they're saying here is that when the Fed creates more currency, this is going to force the price of gold to actually go up to account for this greater amount of currency that's in circulation. And what they're saying is that you know, right now we see the M2 line up here, but gold price has come down. They're thinking that gold is going to rebound to sort of catch up and probably surpass this line here next year. And so obviously if the Fed creates a lot more currency, this is going to be super bullish for precious metals. Uh, it's going to be really bad for inflation in the long run. But uh, yeah, we could see gold go much higher and then obviously silver go higher as well. Uh, let's look at their second leading indicator, the euro. So precious metals need a rising euro in order to shine or falling or flat US dollar. If we look at the euro chart on the longest time frame, we find two bearish targets, 0.96 and ultimately 0.91 and 0.92. The first one was hit. The second one might be hit or not. Down here they say uh, stated differently, even though it might be that the US dollar has more upside, more downside in the euro. We believe that there is more downside risk in the dollar than upside potential, pending validation and an important uh, prerequisite for our bullish silver price forecast for 2023 to materialize. This is basically what their whole price forecast is hinging on if the euro does well then this is essentially saying that the dollar is doing bad if you compare them against each other right and this is the whole thing i mean silver and the dollar again they're opposites so we need the dollar to get dramatically weaker for silver price to go up significantly and uh, you know when the dollar is compared against a basket of other currencies the biggest currency that the dollar is compared against is the euro so it's kind of like if the euro does good silver will do good and the euro's been doing bad so it's probably time for you know a turnaround here so we will see uh let's continue to move on here silver's leading indicator number three inflation expectations this one is interesting i haven't really looked at this in relation to precious metals but it does make sense if people are worried about inflation then yes we would see precious metals prices go up um and so the chart that they're showing here we have these two green lines and this is the uh, uh rising channel right and then the uh graph here this is inflation expectation. It's tip or tips, uh, sometimes what it's called. They're saying it's actually relatively low right now. People are not that worried about inflation. You know, when we see this go up, that means people are worried about inflation, right? So they think it's going to move much higher in 2023 and as people worry more about inflation obviously this is going to be bullish for precious metals so that's in a nutshell uh what they're trying to say with this graph here uh let's continue on to the last one silver's leading indicator number four futures market uh, commitments of traders this is the most bullish leading indicator for silver way before 2023 kicks off this leading indicator will attack like fuel in 2023 whenever the other leading indicators turn bullish for 
silver. The way to think of this leading indicator for silver is a stretch indicator. Uh, when net positions in the futures market of commercials and non-commercials are stretched, it indicates that price is going to take a turn. This is not a timing indicator. We need the silver price chart to determine the timing of a turning point. Right now, as per the data on the center pane, blue and red bars, we see that commercials and non-commercials have extremely low net positions, historically low. This is a setup that supports rising silver prices. So I'll show you right here the historically low net positions. Basically, they're saying that this is an indicator that silver price is going to go up, and they do have the uh, uh, silver price here as well. This is actually the uh, silver's futures price, I suppose, uh, but silver spot price is actually derived from the silver futures price. So this kind of looks like spot price um and so you know it will be interesting to see what happens in 2023 uh and they do go over one other thing as well they do talk about the possibility of a physical silver shortage in 2023 uh we're not going to get into that in this video uh, we've already talked about their four leading indicators for silver moving up again this is investinghaven.com now i want to talk about their track record uh, so, you know, how well have they done predicting silver price in prior years? They start off by bragging here. They say for five years in a row, our silver price forecasts were phenomenally accurate. Uh, they're still available in our blog. You can look at previous years, you know, what they were thinking silver would do. Uh, interestingly, Investing Haven's research team has been spot on with its gold price forecast for five consecutive years. However, in 2021 and 2022, the price of silver came close to our silver forecast, but eventually did not materialize. Obviously, 2022 is not over yet, so we don't exactly know where silver is going to end this year. Uh, but let's look at some of their previous forecasts and sort of how they think they did, right? So in 2017, they were predicting neutral price target, you know, $15 silver. They were, they were pretty accurate with that. Uh, 2018 neutral, no breakdown. Again, very accurate. I mean, it's not really hard to predict what silver is going to do. It's just moving flat for a few years. Um, 2019, they went bullish with their prediction, 20 to $21 an ounce. It didn't quite hit that, but it was pretty close. So we'll give them that bullish uh, with the price target of $22. You know, in 2020, COVID was kind of the weird black swan event, if you will. And we did see silver move pretty high, $29 an ounce, almost $30 an ounce. So I guess they were kind of close. They were bullish on silver. So we'll give them that. 2021, bullish with a price target of 37 They definitely missed that. Um, we saw silver pretty much just kind of come down in 2021. It was flat, if not down. So certainly not bullish that year. And then 2022, I'm assuming they had a pretty bullish prediction as well. So they have had these bullish predictions for the last few years. And, uh, you know, they're saying 2023 is going to be no different. We're going to see silver start to break out. Will it happen in 2023? Or is it possible that it might not really happen until 2024? Either way, I still feel like you should be buying as much silver as you can because ultimately we know the dollar is just going to get crushed in years to come, right? And when it does, we're going to see precious metals just soar. So stack as much as you can right now. That's what I'm doing. Uh, if you want to watch some of my other videos, you know, actually, I'll put a link to my silver price prediction here at the end so you can compare mine to theirs for next year because they are very similar. So feel free to check that out. I do want to say a massive thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in my next one. Silver Dragons out.